Hey everyone, welcome back to MNMMPT Nati YouTube channel. This is Manmohit. Now in today's video, I am going to clarify once and for all about this latest thing that's out there in the market, which is one line strategy, which is just a fancy term for reading out one sentence out of the read aloud, not reading the complete paragraph, reading 10, 12, 14 words and all that stuff and seeing if, if that actually works. And if it works, what sort of marks are we expecting? Like, are we actually getting a full score? Are we getting reduced marks? Or are we getting no marks at all? So in this particular video, so I've just done and completed a PT's official mock test, the official ones, just to see what scores am I getting? I've just done now, the way I've done is I've got six read alouts. Out of six read alouts, I've just read the first sentence. I did not try the middle sentence or the end, or the end sentence because I would be doing another experiment afterwards as well where I would be just picking up another sentence from the middle and all. But for now, just the first sentence. And I've just read about different words in every, sent in, in every paragraph. In one paragraph, I've read about 12 words. Another one, I've read 14 words. Another one, I've read 10 words. Some, I've read 15 words, long sentence. So different number of words, but minimum number of words that I've read is 15. Sorry, the minimum number of words I've read is 10. Maximum, I think I've read is 15 or 16 but it's 10 to 16 words. Obviously the paragraph is a lot longer. So I'm going to share my screen with you all just so I can show you what scores have I got and then some tips or I would say, what would I suggest for read aloud? Uh, what would I suggest for this one line strategy? Should you follow that or not? So without wasting any further ado, I'm just gonna share my screen. Let's have a look. So it's opening up and yep, here it is. So I've just given it today, just now. now just ignored the scores that I've got in my listening and writing because that's another experiment that I've done, which we would be sharing in the next video. But for now, just look at the reading and speaking scores, which is 34 and 27. Like I said, I've done the six read alouts, but I did not attempt any other topic. All the other topics were left, left blank. In the six questions of read aloud, I did not read any paragraph completely. I just read the first sentence, 10, 12, 14, these many amount of words. And this is the score that I've got. I've got 27 in speaking and I've got 34 in the reading module. Now, what does that tell me? Yes, this is our marking criteria as well. And according to us, the scoring pattern that you get about 25 to 30 marks in speaking, and then you get about 35 to 40 marks in reading because I did not get seven paragraphs. Yes, that's why the marks are a lot less as in it's not, if I would have had seven paragraphs, my maybe my reading score would have been 39 or 40 as in full. But for now, six paragraphs, 34 in reading and 27 in speaking. That does imply me it's a full score still because I did not make any single mistake. Now students, what they do is they tend to make mistake in this read aloud, in this one line thing is that you have to understand how this one line strategy works. If you are reading out one sentence, but then out of that one sentence, you're still making two, three, four mistakes this strategy, it's not going to work for you. I can tell you right now, if you're making two or three mistakes just by reading one sentence, I would any day recommend you to read out the complete paragraph because that's going to be a lot better for you in terms of marks rather than just reading out one sentence and then even in one sentence making a couple of mistakes. If you feel that you can read out one sentence like 10, 12, 14 words without making even a single mistake, when I say single mistake as in a and the in on under even these single words, singular, plural, past, present, all these words, if you can make sure that you do not make any mistake at all, yes, this strategy does work. But if you feel that if you make a couple of mistakes, then it's not going to work for you. I can tell you right now, do not even bother doing it. Second thing I can say over here is, should you do that? Should you follow that in the real exam? Look, this is our job. Like we, we do that in the exam. We do these experiments. We do these mock tests just to see what's working, what's not. My experience says, and if you were enrolled with me, if you were my personal student, if you were taking coaching from us, we wouldn't recommend, like we will not recommend this one line strategy. And I'll tell you the reason why. Yes, it's working now. There's no guarantee it's going to work in the future. And Pearson isn't going to come on their website and start or, you know, give a news in front of everyone saying that, look, uh, the one line strategy was working. Uh, it's not going to work anymore. It's not going to work from this date or anything. Nah, whenever they would feel like they're just going to go ahead and fix that thing, or they're just going to go ahead and just make some changes to their marking to better reflect it. 
because people are exploiting it so much at this stage there will definitely come a stage when this thing may not even work anymore i'm not saying it's going to come up uh, like next month or next after two months or so maybe it may come after a year or so but the thing is you don't know that so why would you want to risk your marks for no reason and another thing is the complete paragraph is 35 to 40 words for example if i've already prepared well enough i would any day prefer speaking 35 to 40 words in the exam rather than just speaking 10 to 12 words like what are you trying to do here you're you're saving time yes you're saving uh, you're just saving time nothing else so i won't suggest that again you can use it i'm not going to stop you you can use it at your own risk i won't recommend that again even if i have got a full score right now i would still not recommend to any of my students because and if i was a student as well i wouldn't myself do it not that i do not trust the teacher but i don't want to go ahead pay 375 dollars or any uh, currency wherever you are from and then pearson just out of blue moon and the back end just trying to fix that and when i go and give my exam this thing doesn't work i don't want to spoil my money i don't want to spoil my mood and i don't want to spoil my time this is my recommendation again again you're more than welcome to do anything that you like but then yes i won't suggest that it works yes it gives you full score yes there's no reduced marking or anything for some reason it 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 is working so if you are going to use it all the best but yeah this is pretty much what i wanted to share in this video we'll definitely come up with another one next week where we would be discussing about the marks in listening and writing as well as to why these high marks and what we did what sort of experiment we conducted in this one so stay tuned for another video but for now that's all from me if you have any sort of questions do leave them down in the comment section below or anything at all you can personally contact us on instagram or facebook we are available over there to message and we can have a chat about anything if you need some personal attention one on one coaching one on one consultations prediction files for nati all those things are available just get in touch and we can take the conversation from there all the best if you have got your exams coming soon stay safe wherever you are take care and i'll see you all in the next video